Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to week one, day two of the coronavirus lockdown madness diary. So today I'm giving a special shout out to my single girlfriends who are quarantining on themselves. It's already insane to quarantine with someone, but to not be with anyone is really hard. But please know you are not alone. Pick up the phone, Zoom, FaceTime, Facebook, WhatsApp, what, I mean, whatever. We are all in this together and sending you lots of love because, you know, being single is already a pain sometimes, but in this time, it's even more difficult. So, being single. I was single for a very long time, and it got really frustrating because you're like, I just want to meet the right person. But then hearing stupid couple people tell you stupid things made things even worse. Like, oh my God, you know what your problem is? It's when you least expect it. Oh, really? When I'm in my bathroom cutting my toenails? Really? No, your problem is you're just too intimidating and independent. Because I'm funny and I pay my own bills? That's why? Whatever. No, your problem is that you have high expectations. Well, honey, I'm down to breathing and walking at my age. So if that's too much, God damn it. Breathing and walking. Wow. In our day and age, probably in the last five years, I don't know anybody that has met someone that wasn't from Tinder, Bumble, all these different apps. Yeah, nobody meets in real life anymore because no one talks to each other, always is on their darn phone, like me. So on Tinder, though, I had to go out with a lot of guys to finally meet the right one. Not easy. So I went out with 25 different guys. In maybe six months, I had a headache. I didn't know who I was going out with. Uh, every night. It was so frustrating. I went out from, let's see, an accountant, a lawyer, a graphic designer. Oh, there was a Turkish terrorist. Oh, there was a Calabrese student who wanted to just practice his English with me. A British guy who was a Tory. Oh my God, so boring. A Neapolitan, Neapolitan office worker who showed me photos of his ex-girlfriend. Yeah, a Roman guy who was on Tinder while he was on the date with me. A writer. Oh, and the British guy who made porn and dressed in drag. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. So I was digging at the bottom of the barrel. But then I met number 26. So let's look at my number 26, whose only task today was to clean the living room. Has he done this, ladies and gentlemen? No, he has not. It is almost 5 o'clock. And this is where we're at, people. So, my single ladies, <laughs> if you need to borrow my boyfriend to help you, yeah, he wouldn't do a very good job because he works at the pace of a sloth. Does anybody know what a sloth? Yeah, it moves like a per day, a movement. That's what we're dealing with with number 26. But, no, I'm feeling you. And uh, be strong. I can't even imagine what it's like. Has anybody thought about what's dating like during this moment of this virus? I mean, would you go out like in masks? Would you social distance like a kiss or a hug from afar? Is there more sexting involved? Are dates on Zoom or FaceTime? How is all that going to all work with this day and age? Well, single ladies, if any of you are dating at this time, please feel free to contact me with stories because I am curious what it's like to date during the quarantine. So, for today, peace, love, and happiness, and please make this quarantine go away soon. Lots of love. Mwah. Bachi.